This is a Cybex Eternus M3, and today we're going to show you the first step of dealing with any sort of brake problems that can occur uh, with this stroller. It has a similar brake system on a uh, number of Cybex models, and the uh, brakes essentially function such that you depress the pedal on one side, and it locks that wheel, and uh, via a brake line running to the other side, it also locks the other wheel. Now, what can happen sometimes is that the wheels will not fully brake, or one wheel will not fully brake, or the wheels will not um, come off of the braked position. Uh, they will not be able to rotate again, one or both. And so in most cases, this is simply a matter of uh, rust or uh, grit and sand and so on that's found its way into the brake system. And so if you're having trouble with the brakes on this model, um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is to oil inside the brake system on both sides. And to do this, you're going to need to remove the back wheels. There is a little button underneath that you press. Then we're gonna to want to turn the stroller up on its side. And then we're gonna to wanna to spray a lubricant in here. In this case, I'm going to be using a silicone spray, um, but uh, I would also recommend using something like WD-40 or uh, a multi-purpose spray. Silicon is quite nice when you're dealing with the plastic parts here uh, that all connect together, but something like WD-40 seems to run down a lot better into the system and will certainly be better if you're having trouble with the rust inside the brake line itself. If you do have trouble with the rust inside the brake line itself, you'll know this because it's a lot slower to brake on one side, um, or you just can kind of guess that this is the problem as you're taking it apart and so on, then you would probably need to take apart the brake mounting on one side such that you can more easily get to the wire and oil inside it so that it runs down. Or you can do that from the adjustment screw in the middle of the wire, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit. But in any case, first thing you're gonna wanna do is oil up in the channel where the brake pin extends. And you can work the brakes a few times, and then you would flip the stroller and do the same thing on the other wheel. I won't do that here, but that would be the first thing to try. Okay, so now if your problem has more to do with one wheel uh, not responding properly to applying or taking off the brakes, and in this case it will almost always be the left wheel because it's on the opposite side from the pedal and it needs the wire to extend, uh, then in addition to oiling the system, what you can do, if you unbutton your shopping basket here, you'll find that in the center of the brake line here is actually an adjustment screw. So uh, if you screw this tighter, and you would do this by twisting it apart like this, and then you can take this nut and screw it down. Let's see if I can get it to separate. You'll want to do that because that holds it at the larger point. And what this is essentially doing is elongating the outer bit of the brake line. And uh, this is going to put more tension on the inner brake line, the brake line that's like inside the plastic housing. And it's gonna cause the pin to extend out more. There you go, see? Pull that down. Now it's in an extended position. And the pin will now stick out more on this side. Um, uh, and uh, thus cause it to have a little bit more traction, uh, allowing you to get the left side brake to be a bit tighter. This one was fine, so I'm just gonna readjust it. But uh, so that's a good thing to know. And again, if you're using WD-40, if you wanna spray inside the, uh, the brake line itself, you can actually take this apart and then you can spray down each side, just hold it up so that gravity allows the oil to go down in either side. It's a good point to access the inside of that brake line. So uh, that's how you would uh, begin to approach any sort of brake issues with the Cybex models, in particular the Saturnus M3. Uh, it can also happen, of course, that uh, the parts inside the brake housing on either side or the wire itself uh, do need to be replaced. Uh, we're not gonna show that in this video, but uh, if you've tried the steps in this video and you still have trouble with your brakes, leave us a comment and we can take it apart for you uh, in a future video. We hope that this has been helpful. If it has been, 
We ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.